howdy diddly dandy there chums does i captain of the stews and today chums i just want to go over no man's sky and is there an update on the horizon and why i feel that there is or why i feel that they could be i mean i don't want to say solid set in stone that there's going to be because you never know what they're up to inside of hello games but anyway what am i going by well you see this lovely website behind me that's what i'm going by people so let's jump on over into the viewer verse boom there i am on the screen right now now this website actually tracks every single update and what was inside of said update up to a fixed point you know from when it was published so you know august 2024 2023 so fairly recently anyway if i hit in here and I type in Oct, the first three letters of the month of October, we had The Abyss back in October of 2018. It was an ocean overhaul that brought underwater bases and a submarine, yes, a Nautilan. A small spookier update in time for Halloween, The Abyss update overhauled the oceans and underwater environments of no man's sky, as well as improvements to the variations in flora, fauna, and the visuals in general, and of course, some scurry underwater entities like yours okay then hitting up here if i jump to the next one people pow we can see here well, there was another one in october of 2020 halloween update and this brought in tainted metal currency and an exclusive new rewards the halloween update aimed to shine some more light on the derelict freighters introduced a desolation update so this so with this came strange material known as tainted metal yes lovely jubbly so it wasn't really a named update they just called it the halloween update and it just added in that new currency and gave us things to run for and a flesh sort of um facial thing anyway i'll get to it in a second and there's been others as well so there we are we had the no man's sky next generation in 2020 that brought it to ps5 and xbox series x support and so forth and so on it mentions 32 player online sessions still not a thing for me and save transfers which was definitely a thing but this did not have a halloween vibe to it or anything like that it wasn't echoes of halloween and we had another one here as well for waypoint and that just brought it to the nintendo switch in 2022 so yeah again it's not really a halloween update but it was an update of sorts in october like yes and also i think we've got an expedition with that but we'll get to that a little bit later anyway skipping on a bit and uh, that's pretty much everything we've got there for october however if an update missed october sometimes they slipped over to november and we had this one, which was Synthesis. Now, Synthesis in 2019 brought a heck of a lot of polish into the actual environment, into the actual world of No Man's Sky. Upgrade to salvage ships, tweaks and overhauls and all sorts of other lovely stuff. Freaking great, people. Again, though, not very Halloweeny in theme or vibe or feeling. No, and um, there's a few other bits of here, but it, 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 there's nothing really other to mention. I think there was, yes, this one that brought base building in, the Foundations update, but I think they were kind of pressured into getting that out. That was just after launch, so I don't think we'll cover that one too much. But anyway, looking at the Abyss update, which added in creepier depths to the oceans, and they did talk about the darker side and the creepier side of No Man's Sky inside of these actual patch notes, and that they, it was timed with the Halloween sort of feel of season, which is kind of nice, this dark narrative. Here you go, Dreams of the Deep, story brings context to the depths and the dark narrative to No Man's Sky. So there is that dark narrative to No Man's Sky. There really is. There is that spookier, creepier element to No Man's Sky. The Halloween update also draws on that same sort of connotation with the darker corners of No Man's Sky inside of the galaxy. And this one was aimed at Halloween and being Halloween, we're gonna add in something more creepier into the realm of No Man's Sky. Okay, so I honestly think we've had two sort of Halloween type updates that actually mention Halloween and the darker side of No Man's Sky, and we haven't had a large one like that for the last couple of years. The october -y sorts of updates that we've had in the last couple of years has been bringing it to new platforms. Well, as far as I'm aware, there's no more platforms to bring Hello Game, well, bring No Man's Sky to, unless they're going to start targeting the freaking mobile industry, which I don't think is going to happen, is it, anytime soon? Hopefully. I don't know. It could. Anyways, 
or oh, maybe the Quest 3 perhaps, I don't know. But anyway, I'm not really expecting another console port or port to another platform is what I'm thinking. So I'm hoping they might have been able to use some of that time, that dev time that they use to get it on other platforms to maybe give us something this year in way of spookiness. Especially since Shaun of the Murrays said that there was gonna be a four part arc and we know that we've had arc one and two of all this new autophage lore and the Void Mother. I mean, it's kind of left us on a bit of a precipice Yes, so hopefully we're going to get parts 3 and 4. There's been nothing official from Sean Murray to say that we've had parts 3 and 4. Honestly, don't think the autophage lore has been complete. Let us know in the comments if you feel I'm wrong on that one. Be a bit of a disappointment. I'd love to see the Void Mother in actuality. Honestly, think though that the Void Mother, if they do put her in, it could just be that when you go to Atlas stations, rather than being red, they might just be freaking purple. Who freaking knows? Anyways, why else do I think that there might be an update or an expedition coming this part of the year? Yeah. Well, let me show you. If I click on over to here, expeditions are revisited. So every single festive period around the November time, around the tail end of November, they do what's called a expeditions revisit or redux. Thank you. So the, the very first one that replayed the very first four expeditions started around the 24th of November, and it took us right through the festive period, and it ended around January 19th, I believe. And here we go. And the last one was Expedition 4, The Emergence. Now, when did this expedition start? Back in 2020. It was, or 2021, I should say, sorry. Expedition 4, Emergence, October 20th. Well, we're now on the 25th. So that's why I kind of thought that we might get another expedition around now. I mean, the other one only just ended. I thought there'd be a week's loo, and then I thought we'd get another expedition to run. Um, for the Halloween festive period. And it even says here, look, as the end of October approaches, we are thrilled to announce a new seasonal event for No Man's Sky, seasonal. Uh, we get four, there's four seasons to a year. We've had three expeditions this year. If it is seasonal, we'll do a fourth, obviously. Expedition 4 Emergence begins today and will run over the course of Halloween for our first expedition to feature a narrative and also a mini update bringing with it a host of enhancements across the game. I was kind of expecting almost a repeat of that this year that also gives us part 3 of the arc for the autophages, has a creepier sort of vibe, introduces the Void Mother in an expedition with a little mini enhancement, a little bit of an update to the game. It's like this brought in the worm babes into the actual universe and also added a bit more to the infested planets and gave them a bit more rhyme and reason, gave them a bit of lore, a little bit of sense. I honestly thought we'd get something along the lines of that this Halloween, this sort of time of the year. So yeah, if, it's, if it doesn't happen before the end of this month, then maybe it might happen at the start of November. But you've got to look at when they run the last set of expeditions. So let's go on to the holiday of 2022. So this is the last Redux. It started November 23rd of 2022. So if there is another expedition now, it needs to end before November 23. So it's got to be a fairly small expedition. They're really cutting it fine if they want to put the Redux over the same sort of periods that they have previously. And you can see here, this one ended 18th of January, started on the 24th of November. They're running out of weeks. They're running out of time. And so it could be that we only have three expeditions this year. Sod the seasonal thing. <laughs> it could be. You know, the last expedition we had was freaking time and a half wasn't it we got like two months to run that one so maybe this year might be the um curveball maybe this one might be something that shatters that mold shatters the pattern of the redux who freaking knows people but i'm still hopeful that we're going to see some sort of expedition update surprise surprise expedition 12 and i, I think maybe it runs through halloween and takes it into early november and yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking. And then the redux at the end of November. That's I'm still thinking that, okay? Only based on patterns and all this evidence that I'm showing you right now. I didn't just throw this out there as clickbait. I'm actually going by previous years is what I'm getting at, people. I've had a few people saying, I hope you, I hope you this isn't clickbait, Captain Steve. I'm hoping that it is going to be an update. Well, I did do polls to see what people thought, you know? Anyway, going back to previous year and Polestar, Polestar... Expedition 4 in 2022 started in July. 
So, you know, we've already had our third expedition around that time. So it has sort of moved on a bit, but, you know, 2021, 2022 were very weird years, weren't they? You know why? Heck yes. Anyway, over on my actual community tab, over on the tube of you, I put out these sort of like little mini wish lists of what people might want. Maybe a quality of life update? Maybe in keeping with Synthesis, and that got sort of like a 32 vote there. Most likely, going by story arcs and things like that, I kind of feel that that's more equivalent to perhaps the Abyss update. So Synthesis, quality of life, something a bit more like the Abyss that's in line with the autophages and the story arc. 12% hit that up. I thought that one would get the highest votes. But this is a poll on what you would most like to see, not what, what you think is going to happen. So... Obviously, perhaps people are going to be more inclined to say the quality of life one. Heck yes. And then the mega wish list is my own personal wish list. This is things that I would like to see. And 23 people hit that up. 23% of people hit that up, which is nice to see. But then at the bottom, we've got a 34%, a bit of each. You know, whenever I do polls, a lot of people say I'd like one that actually says a little bit of everything. Yeah, okay, so I always add that in now, anyways. But there we go. Otherwise, I would have just kept it to these three. If it was just these three, the quality of life one seems to win out. And that's just tying up loose ends in story and also game mechanics, adding in a bit more depth, adding in a bit more variety and improvements to everything. And yeah, that, that one that one does appeal. That one does appeal. Heck yes. Yeah, and my mega wish list, I just think there's probably a little bit too much work in that. That will be like a, a summer update. You know, it, it's not really in line but i thought i'd put it in there for a bit of fun because that's all this is this is a bit of fun this is speculation at the end of the day people you know i don't know any more than what you guys know out there inside the viewerverse i've not got my contacts at say hello games in a roundabout way i mean i have had communications with them but it's normally just to confirm like you know the meetup or something like that whether there's going to be somebody there no one feeds me information I'm, I'm working off the same information that you've got i'm just going by patterns from previous year like i said i'm not just pulling this out of thin air though you know some people say this is clickbait it's just driving up hype that's unnecessary but at the same time, I would say, no, going by previous years, something usually happens. And there's usually four expeditions per year. We've only had three. So at the very least, I'm hoping we're going to see another expedition. And I'm hoping it's going to contain a little bit more of the story arc, a little bit like Emergence. I'm thinking an, an expedition like Emergence that brings in a little mini update along with it, but it's more expedition focused. That's what I'm thinking, people. That's where I'm setting my own expectations. I could be setting myself up to be a little bit let down because at the end of the day, the last expedition was massive, went on for freaking time. And this year has been a very different year to other years. But we have had Sean mention that there's going to be a four part arc and we're only on part two as far as I'm aware, people. So I'm hoping to see a little bit of arc three, expedition 12 and then a redux of all the expeditions. And then I think it's going to be radio silence until January, February of next year, people. That's what I'm thinking. But that's where my speculation is. Let me know in the comments where yours is. I might put up another poll on my community tab saying what do you think is most likely. Put a link to this video there so people can see my thoughts. And I'll put down a few sort of release windows for expedition 12. And maybe a mini update. Anyway, people, salute to Mondo. Take care and thank you for listening. And uh, I'll see you again soon. And yes, if you haven't already smashed all them buttons, you know, the subscribe, the like and all that lot, please hit them. Heck yes. Thank you very much. Until next time. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.